Hi, I'm Nicole and welcome to Nurturing Compassion. If you're new here, I post content about being your best self through compassionate living. If that's something you're interested in, please consider hitting the red subscribe button. talk about a book that has completely changed my life and that book is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. The Artist's Way is a pretty old book actually. I mean not that old but it was it was published sometime in the 90s and I purchased the book on Amazon because I've heard so many of my favorite YouTubers raving about morning pages and artist dates and Finally, I mean, I'm such an Audible person. I consume almost all the books that I read through Audible. I just recently actually got into reading before bed. And so I had looked for The Artist's Way before on Audible and I couldn't find it. So I would constantly be kind of deferring it, you know, the whole minimalism thing. I don't really like to purchase books a lot of the time. But eventually I was like, already writing morning pages myself and I was like I just want to know the philosophy behind this because I put been putting it into practice it seems cool I guess like honestly it's pretty hard but people are raving about it so I think I just need to get more inspired because that's a huge part of audible for me is the fact that listening to these books about all these different topics gets me so pumped. But anyway, so I finally caved, I ordered the book, and I just started reading it like maybe a chapter or sometimes even just a couple pages before bed. And first of all, amazing that reading before bed just makes me fall asleep so quickly. Like it gets me into bedtime mode and it's just super soothing, it feels like an act of self-care, and I don't know, I think that it's a great way for people who struggle with sleeping to use that as a tool. And I mean, I don't really struggle with sleep for the most part, but if my mind is especially chattery, it's a great way to calm it down. Not to mention that reading books like The Artist's Way, that is the last thing you're gonna be thinking out about before you go to sleep. And when it's these beautiful, positive messages, I think that that in itself can have a wonderful impact on your life. Like the book is so fun to read and she talks about reconnecting with your inner artist child and she kind of talks about it as recovery, which I think is really cool because it is in a way recovering to your truest self because in this world, like especially in the school system, I think a lot of people are robbed of their ability to be creative, to express themselves in whatever way they want to. I mean, if you're a writer and you're in school, that can be great, other than the fact that, again, you're limited by, oh, you have to write about this and that. It needs to be a consistent way of showing that you read this book, you understand this concept. Just expressing yourself, it doesn't have all that much of a role. And I'm not saying that our school system is bad, I think that there's a lot to be improved upon, but a lot of times our schooling does not allow us to tap into our creativity at that time when it's so important. I was really blessed as a child, you know, I grew up and my grandmother on my dad's side was an artist, my mother herself was an artist and it wasn't her job, but she did do it several times a week and she ended up having her own art shows. And so I was grown up seeing that you can be creative and that's okay. That just because you want to create doesn't mean that you can't do other things, that you can't be successful. Because I know that that is an idea that's fed to a lot of people is that this idea of the starving artist, right? And Another thing is that art is not just painting, it's writing, it's filmmaking, it's, you know, pottery, all of it. All of it is art. And we are all artists in one way or another. I was also really blessed that my mother signed me up for art classes that were more professional. Yeah, it was just from a young age, I always felt that my creativity was nurtured. And I know that a lot of people don't have that, especially after reading The Artist's Way. And it's heartbreaking because creativity 
is such a big part of me and the reason that I am the way I am. And I'm not perfect, I was not this enlightened artist, but I think that I definitely had a little bit of a head start than unfortunately some others. And so I was really blessed for that. And embarking on my creative recovery has completely shifted my life. So pretty much what's really cool about The Artist's Way is that she talks about this recovery, but it's literally two things you need to do. Morning pages and the artist date. Morning pages is just sitting down, writing three pages of freehand stream of consciousness writing, and it can literally be like, can't wait to be done with this and go make tofu scramble and a smoothie and sit and watch Netflix all day because I'm not doing anything today. Or, oh my god, I'm so busy, I, I just can't, I don't have time to do this, this sucks, I want it to be over. Anything, you know, say whatever is on your brain. And there were times for me where I'm just like, I don't know why I'm doing this. But the thing is that when you push through those thoughts, eventually you start bringing up things that it's, it's almost like I think about it like you're just, I think it's more important when you're writing just like pointless day to day stuff on there because it like gets it out of your brain so that then you have room for other things to come up. And what I actually noticed was as I started doing one pages, it's been a couple months now, that things from my subconscious mind would start coming up. Things that from my childhood that were bothering me that I didn't even know were bothering me, like different limiting beliefs that I had. And it's been really useful because I just sit there and I journal them out. And then I'm able to actually sit and do some tapping and let them go. Whereas before morning pages, they were just stuck in my subconscious mind, just influencing what I did on a day-to-day -day basis, and I didn't even know that they were there. Another thing that Morning Pages has done for me is that a couple times I've actually had the experience of getting an idea for a video or, you know, for my homework assignment. I just noticed that coming up in Morning Pages, and it's like the least expected time, but it really is having a positive impact and it does get better too. Like I've noticed that when I first started doing it, I hated it so much. And then it like slowly started getting a little bit better and then it would like suck again and then it was great. And now I actually am at the point where I crave morning pages. If I don't write them, I am more frantic during the day. It's almost like the morning pages is a recalibration and it just, gets my head on straight. And and the other thing is that, you know, morning pages, they're done in the morning. They're supposed to be done first thing, but I knew starting out that for it to be sustainable for me, that wasn't exactly going to happen. I need to eat my breakfast first, and then I will write my morning pages because otherwise my morning pages will just be about how hungry I am. <laughs> and I've accepted that, and that's fine. It's still when my brain is pretty fresh in the morning and that's really what you want to do. It wants, wants it to be like first, around the first thing in the morning that you do. So yeah, morning pages are really excellent for just helping me understand what's going on in my brain. I was not expecting them to have as big an impact as they did. And what's cool is that the other part that uh, Julia Cameron talks about in her book is the artist date. And the artist date and the morning pages sort of like help nurture each other in the sense that morning pages are for getting your ideas out and getting rid of the stuff that is either unimportant, doesn't need to be sitting in your mind, or getting the stuff that is important out on paper. Whereas the artist date is meant to help fill your brain with more inspiration so that you can keep creating. So in a sense, it's like you make all this room in your brain by doing the morning pages and then you're able to fill it up with positivity and with all kinds of beautiful things when you go on the artist date. The artist date is meant to be a date that you literally take yourself on. It's by yourself, once a week, you're supposed to plan it beforehand, and you go and do something that you think sounds like fun. That's pretty much it. The idea is that you're taking your artist child out to explore and to fill their mind with more creativity. For example, my first artist date was that I went to Pier 1 Imports and just walked around and saw what inspired me. And 
I did that because I had never been to a Pure One Imports. Whenever I would pass them, I was always curious about them. I wanted to know what goes on and I didn't even know what they sold in Pier 1 Imports but for some reason I was always drawn to go and then my professor in some conversation actually ended up bringing up the fact that Pier 1 Imports has all this stuff shipped in from around the world and it's like home improvement like home decor type stuff and that sounded awesome so I finally decided that, okay, I'm going on an artist date and it's gonna be to Pier 1 Imports. And even just the act of planning that out and knowing that I was scheduling time for myself for something that really excited me was therapeutic in and of itself. I felt like just doing that was an act of self-care and then going to the Pier 1 Imports was self-care as well. So I went on this artist date and I tried to do something like that every single week not always going to a store, but maybe going to the forest and just sitting and exploring the woods and journaling. It, there's so many different things that you can do and it does really fill you up with inspiration because I think that what artist dates allow you to do is to listen to the voices in your head that are pointing you in the right direction of inspiration. So. I wanted to go to Pure One Imports, but it was like, oh, I don't have time, like, what's the point? I don't need to spend money, la da 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 da. But when I actually knew that I had to be making the time to do something that sounded fun, I remembered that and I went. And it was actually really crazy because I went and there was like, the whole store was on sale. And I mean, after being there before, I thought maybe it was kind of like a TJ Maxx type place where things were always on sale and cheaper. And I ended up getting like over $200 worth of stuff for around $50, which was great because I just moved into this apartment and it just makes it look more homey and cute. And so that was really awesome. I felt like that was just a reassuring message from the universe that I was on the right track. Overall, these artist dates, I find that they really do, as Julia Cameron describes, fill the well. They kind of put you in situations that set you up for success in being more creative. I've found a lot of motivation for continuing to make videos every week and to explore different kinds of topics and kind of play around with what my brand is about. And I really attribute a lot of that to the artist way and the lessons that I learned from it. So I highly recommend, obviously, if it's not parent from this video that you go and check out The Artist Way. There's a lot of really awesome YouTube content out there about people who incorporate artist dates and morning pages into their routines, and you should check them out as well. But from my personal experience, I don't think that any of that could replace actually reading the book yourself, because when I actually became familiar with the philosophies and the theory behind the artist way. I think that it all clicked and it all became extremely worthwhile for me. So that's about all that I have today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the red subscribe button for more content on compassionate living. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!